It was around uh, 2011, so a couple of years ago, that uh, you know the iPad was still brand new, and we had all this app development, and it really changes how people consume news. And that got me thinking about, okay, do we need to use different devices and uh, different platforms to actually report the news? And so that's how this the idea for the course. Um, was born so I can uh, equip uh, every student in my class with an iPad and send them out uh, to report um, with the iPad, use uh, social media on the iPad and produce video, multimedia on the iPad. So it's basically the one-stop device um, for all of the students in this class. So it kind of came with a change of technology, change of times, uh, how people consume news today. The students that I have in that class are mostly seniors. It's a capstone experience. So they've gone through writing courses, reporting courses. They have uh, gotten most of the skills, the basic skills. They have applied them in previous classes. So I can really put them into the field, um, do practical work where they're applying um, all, of, all of their skills. But we're working for a professional news organization, our media partner CBS6. So all of the stories of the students get published on the website of CBS6 but uh, they're not going there directly. They're going through an editorial process and I'm the first editor and then there's another editor um, at CBS 6 as well. In 2013, we covered the gubernatorial election. So my students went out to interview candidates or they went to the election parties, campaign events. Um, they reported the news immediately from their iPad and their iPhones or, or uh, Android phones on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, instantaneously. But then they also, in a very quick turnaround, uh, they wrote their stories on the iPad. Uh, we used Google Drive for that. So while they were writing, I could already edit. Uh, while being in a completely different location and, uh, and they were using iMovie on their iPads to edit their videos. So we were able to, uh, within an hour, to complete reporting. Sometimes we were faster uh, than the actual professional, professional uh, reporters in the field. So students were actually competing with news organizations to get the news out. So that makes it a, a very competitive environment for them, but uh, it makes it also a very visible environment for them so that they are taken seriously as reporters in the field as well. The first students are actually just graduating now, so they're getting into the job market. But what we've seen is that they have been really competitive for internships. So we had students that uh, went to CNN and went to the Washington Post and were really strong here in the local market. So CBS 6 as a media partner is not only generous to us to uh, uh, publish the student stories, but they're also picking the, the great students for their own internships. So student has already gotten hired at CBS 6, so they're also using that as kind of like a talent shop. Um, for them to uh, to actually give that uh, that opportunity to students and then be able to give them internships or hire them. The outcome for me that I get by doing that is so much more rewarding than as if students were just writing for my desk and the stories wouldn't go anywhere. So it's really rewarding to see how students uh, develop their portfolios and then become really competitive in the internship and job market.